In 1987, I was accused of gross sexual imposition. I did not commit this crime, but I was accused of it and went to prison for 18 months, and it destroyed my life. I was accused of allowing a man violate this little girl, and I'm supposed to have watched this crime. And around the same time, a neighbor accused me of touching her breast and buttocks. I would never harm or violate any child or a little girl, little boy, anybody. I was in the military, and my job was to serve and protect the public. I couldn't violate nobody. I was totally dedicated to the National Guard. I ended up pleading guilty because I had no other option. I didn't have no lawyer in my corner. I paid a lawyer. He wanted to get out. He got his money. Boom. I was done. So when I got out, at age 15, Brandy found me. I got custody of her, and she's been in my life ever since. And we've got a great relationship. So having her my back in my life was a joy feeling. Things got a little rocky. She, she had accused me of touching and molesting one of her kids. She accused me of touching the one of her children's privates, and it's false. I don't get why Brandy done this to me and said this, because she let me, they stayed with me. They stayed with me for two years. She'll send me these text messages over her phone calling me a child molester. Uh, I've touched her kids uh, and accused me of heinous stuff that there's no way I could do, and I don't know why. I don't know why she accused me of things like this. I love my grandkids more than my life. I love my grandkids more than the world. I would do anything for my grandkids. I play music, I get them involved in what I'm in. I do everything for them boys, for her, and I still get accused of things that I am not or have not done. She's also accused my wife of hitting the kids and me standing there and just watching, and I don't need this. I don't need this and neither does Annie. I want Brandy to know that she's a very confused person. And I'm not that monster. I am not evil. I am not sick. And I'm here to clear my name. Uh, Brandy, why did you call the show? It's, it's devastating knowing that my father had went to prison for something that he had, that's allegedly did. How, that's something that you just, you, I just can't get out of my head. Um, what was your father, Tom, convicted of in 1987? My father was convicted of gross sexual imposition of a minor. Um, while another man had, wa had done it, he had watched this happen. He had supposedly put her, penetrated her. So another man uh, penetrated a young child with a broomstick, and your father watched, watched it happen. Um, what happened in 2017 with one of your sons? So in 2017, my had came into the room and told me that his papa, his papa, Benny Tom, yes, had touched him in that area. So I was concerned. I asked him, "Are you sure?" But at the same time, he had just had a procedure done in that area. So you know, I was like, "Well, you know, because they weren't in my custody at the time. They were just staying with Tom and Annie." And, and can I just yeah, ask sorry. you why? Because I was, I lost my home, Steve. I lost my home, my car, my job, my mom, my best friend. This incident that happened in 1987, what happened with this little girl? I didn't do nothing. This guy that's supposed to have done this in front of me, he didn't do nothing in front of me with this little girl. But he, did, he didn't get no time at all. They just jumped on me and but said... But you plead guilty to it, huh? You know what? Brandy, you pled guilty okay, to hold it. On a it you know, hold on a second. So you're saying there was a guy accused of penetrating a girl with a broomstick, yeah. right? And you allegedly watched, right? Allegedly. Allegedly. Okay. He didn't get any jail time? No, no. But you did? Yes. For watching. Yeah. And how long did you go to prison for? 18 months. 18 months. So but I was facing 20 years, and I, my lawyer said, if you don't take a plea, you can stay here and rot. I was like, no, and man, you're supposed guy, to represent. This is the lawyer you were paying for. Yeah, I paid a paid lawyer. Oh, okay. I'm Tom's common law wife, and uh, we've been together about five years. There's no way he would have done this. He's a sweet, gentle man. He loves children. 
he would never do anything to hurt a child. I know in 1987, Tom plea bargained to a horrible crime. He did not do it. He was railroaded into it, I believe. His daughter lost her home and her car and, uh, said, and Tom said, can we bring the three boys over to live with you? And I'll live here too. And uh, that's how it all started. And they, the boys stayed with me for about two and a half years. Took him to school, got him into all kinds of activities and basically was the grandmother they never had. So all I did was love her kids. I raised them basically as my own. Uh, and she resented that. She would accuse me of beating the kids, uh, locking them in basements. Brandy has called the police to our house at least five times. And the uh, police are always very nice. They, they know us and uh, they've even apologized. They said, we know who Brandy is. We know what she's like. When she calls, we have to come and check. The whole situation is totally ridiculous. I've never dealt with anything quite so crazy. Tom can't change Brandy. Nobody can change Brandy except Brandy herself. I took a lie detector test today because of Brandy's accusations against me and I want to prove that I did not ever abuse those boys. You I realize was, that I what we've hurting. done for your boys, you do not you care. You took the only thing away from Calm me down, that Brandy. I had we left. We never took anything and away from you. And then rubbed it in my face, Annie. We you never took anything away face. from you. We wanted you, you to be a good mother. We, we wanted you to be able to take your own no, kids. You I can kids. never I was hurt. When you hear his daughter calling him a child molester, keep throwing it in his face. Uh, and, I hate and, it. And it sounds like Tom has done a lot for his daughter. He has. I am very appreciative of it. But you don't understand what I was going through either. My mother died, my best friend, I didn't have, I was a single parent all my life. Well, and but when then, my kids okay, are, but why, I, I just, like, I understand. I should have never accused them. But, but you know, throw in his face, you're a child molester. I, it's some of those texts, I got the power. No, like, it's, it's, it's... What the hell is that? What power do you have? Because to the back of my head, I do, don't, I, I don't, I'm not 100% sure. Right. Uh, Annie, you came here and you took a lie detector test and we asked you, did you ever cause any type of physical abuse to Tom's three grandchildren at any time? You answered no. Did you ever cause any welts, bruises, or marks at any time on Tom's three grandchildren? that is considered physical abuse? You answered no. The results came back the same to those two questions. And it came back that Annie told the truth. <laughs> Tom, let's find out. We broke gears into two parts. One with the grandchildren and one with the 1987 crime. First, we're doing the 1987 crime. We asked you, Regarding the 1987 crime you went to jail for, did you at any time engage in any f physical sexual acts to that little girl? You answered no. Regarding the 1987 crime you went to jail for, were you present observing when that little girl was sexually molested? You answered no. Regarding the 1987 crime you went to jail for, did you arrange for that little girl to be sexually molested by another man you knew? You answered no. The result came back the same to each one of those three questions. And it came back that Tom told the truth. <laughs> Brandy, uh, you took a lie detector test. And we asked you, uh, did you ever make up and fabricate a story that Annie physically abused your children at any time? And you answered yes. Yeah. So you I told, was hurt. You told the truth. Yeah. Did you ever make up and fabricate a story of allegations that Tom, your dad, physically abused your children? And you answered yeah. yes. You did fabricate, and you told the truth. So she admits <laughs> that she made up the allegations I against you. I should have never did it. And Tom, I, I'm sorry, Brian, how old are you again? 35. 35. When do you get your together? You're not 18. You're not 21. You're a 35 year old girl woman. You're Stop <laughs> being a victim, okay? That's all I'm saying. Thanks for coming on. Okay. And I, I want to hear from you, Brandy. I want you to know that you're taking steps to rebuild all this, okay? Yes, sir. All right, good luck to you. Thank you.